What's up YouTube, it's Tito here, and today we're gonna to talk about vans. I've already talked about this before in another video, which I guess I'll put the card up somewhere, um, about how to find the best van. And again, in that same video, I talked about how it's really like uh, what you need and what you're gonna be using the van for that can determine which one is the best for you. So if you need to be more stealthy because you live in a city, um, then you need something that's gonna be stealthy, not stand out, something that's gonna fit in a lot of spaces. Um, but if that doesn't matter, then, you know, your range of which ones you want to, you can pick, uh, opens up a bit more and depends on where you live at and the ordinances they have, cause there's new laws changing that say your, your vehicle cannot be taller than this height or wider than this height or whatever it is. So you want to look into that as well. Um, so I'm going to jump right into this, into the different types of vans that there are, as far as I know of. Um, and if you know of anything else, just leave it all below and let's uh, have this discussion in the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to go over the types of vans there are and then what I'm looking for in a van and what are like my top three choices um, that I want. First one is the minivan. So the minivan obviously is going to have better gas mileage because they're not built to like pull a lot of weight so the engines aren't huge and um you know they're good uh on the highway and you know they're meant to be driven around the city and stuff as well because a lot of moms have them a lot of families have them a lot of um just yeah families in general like people who have a lot of other people other bodies that they need to carry around often i uh, like to get minivans um some people use them for like delivery services or stuff like that so um yeah, they're just better on gas mileage uh, and they're stealthy because there are so many vans all over the place that other families and um, groups of people have that it will not stick out like a sore thumb. You can park in a lot of places because of the size of the van. It's not really huge. So, um, yeah, so we have those. Uh, the vans, the minivans that I would be interested in right now would be like the Dodge Caravan just because of the, the shape and the look of it. Um, I think someone else, um, who, I can't remember who it was, but someone else had said that they were looking into the Dodge Caravan, Caravans as well because of the shape, I think, because it's more square. I think that's the one that they said, but I just like the look of it. Um, and the back does look a little bit more square than a lot of the other minivans that kind of rounds off in the back. Um, the Honda Odyssey, just because of the name, because my channel is Amazing Odyssey. So I guess the Honda Odyssey would kind of be fitting, um, but it, it has that rounded back and you know just a basic minivan look to it uh, and then the Astro I've said this before but because of the look again um, you know I, I like the more square type because it just feel like it'd be easier to build out and um, it just looks cooler than a regular minivan um, but uh, Jed from Into the Mystery 13 he uh, just did like a comparison on his Chevy Astro compared to his uh, long bed um, Chevy Express compared to like the Ford Transit, I believe it was. So you can go check that video out. I thought it's pretty good. Um, you can just get a better perspective on those vans and he talks a bit more about like the handling and stuff like that. So uh, he kind of turned me off a little bit on the Astro, but I still like the look of it and uh, it's better gas mileage than some of these other vans. Um, so yeah, then I would go into mobility vans and wheelchair uh, base vans because normally they are high top vans. Um, the bad part about those is normally you're gonna have to remove the wheelchair lift, which takes time and effort and then you gotta do something with it if you can sell it, that'd be good. But if not, then now you're stuck with this huge wheelchair lift and all of that. And then um, I'm not exactly sure as far as how much wear that stuff um, has on like the engine and transmission. Although they're usually like cargo type vans, base vans, so they're meant to pull a lot of weight. But I'm not sure like over time, like wobbling and lifting wheelchairs and stuff like that, um, how much wear that has on those vans. Um, and also they have like, so when the doors open, I'll have a picture up here so you'll be able to see it, but you'll see that uh, at the top of the doors, they kind of extend into the roof area. And then normally the passenger door is um maybe there's just stairs there it's not really a seat there and i'm not really fond of that whole thing how the doors go up into the roof area and open up which isn't a bad thing but i'm not too fond of the look of it um, but that is an option and as far as stealth i mean it, i feel like it could fit in 
a lot of places as far as like looking like it fits in. Um, but the size of it, again, it, it is a high top, a really high top normally. Um, and uh, maybe even a little bit longer. Uh, there are other wheelchair vans where they're like the short top cargo type vans, but I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the high top ones. Um, and then we'll go into uh, conversion vans, which is like Dora. That's what Dora was basically. Um, normally they are like family vans. So a lot of families have them to go on trips and stuff. And um, they're not really for like off-roading and stuff like that. Uh, they're just really comfort for families that go on long trips. They can have a TV or a bed in the back that makes it a little bit more comfortable. And so the wear on the inside can, can differ depending on who uses it. Sometimes it's older couples or sometimes it's families that had it in their family for so long. Um, but they do have a lower clearance because they usually have that runner board on there and they are lower. Um, and then the wear, um, depending on who's the owner, sometimes they don't really take care of them that well, but, um, they do, if you can get the ones with the high tops, then that may be worth it for you. Um, but gas mileage is not that great. Uh, but they can pull if you want to hook a trailer or something up to it. They can pull depending on the engine and everything, uh, a decent amount, um, and then after that, we have the cargo vans, which is basic. You know what a cargo van is. You see them all the time as work vans normally. Um, and so those have higher clearance so you can get, you know, off-road a bit better or over things a bit better. Um, normally they have the low tops though. They don't have a high top. Um, and, and the gas mileage is not that great again because the size of the engine, they're meant to pull a lot of weight. Uh, so, you know, you gotta be thinking about that type of a thing. Um, but if you can get a cargo van with a high top, that would be optimum, I feel like, um, as far as like space and the, the clearance. But again, it depends on what you want to do. What, do you, what are you using, using this van for? Um, so yeah, you have the high top cargo vans, which again, like I said, it's just awesome because you have that whole cargo accessory, everything, you know, you can pull stuff with it and everything like that, but you also have that height and that comfort. Um, next you would go to a class B now we're getting more expensive and, uh, yeah, the class B RV, which looks like a van with the high top, but it has all of the amenities and everything in it. Normally it has the bathroom and the shower and the, um, stove, maybe even an oven or a microwave. Um, it has the seat that folds down to a bed normally, or like a dinette that folds down to the bed. Um, maybe it has the over cab area where you can sleep at. Um, there's a lot of different types of class B RVs, but those look like RVs. So they're not very stealthy. They're plain and simple. They're RVs. They normally have an awning on the side and they have all the little vents and stuff on the outside. So you can tell that, uh, somebody's probably living in it or traveling in it. Um, so yeah, they're not very stealthy, but, um, the space in them is a lot better uh, and it already comes already built out. So you don't have to build anything. But they are more expensive because a lot of people want them. Um, and then we can go into like commercial vans or I think maybe even called like step vans and box vans and stuff like that too. We'll just lump those all together. Um, but like a lot of the popular ones are like the Ford Transits and the, um, the Dodge Ram Pro Masters and the Nissan Envys and the Mercedes Sprinters. And like I said, then you got your box vans, which usually have like Chevys. Um, Chevy or Ford chassis and you know it's just a regular box van that you see um, companies have that they deliver stuff in uh, maybe even like step vans like um, uh, UPS type vans or FedEx type vans uh, a lot of them are transitioning to those like Mercedes Sprinters and stuff but yeah so those type of vans obviously these are bigger these are like the big ones um, a lot of space, but the gas mileage is not good. They're just like RVs as far as gas mileage. Um, and uh, some places don't allow these. Uh, I know like some people were saying like in, in certain parts of California, I'm not sure if it's everywhere or what, maybe even um, other bigger cities, they do not allow vehicles with high tops to park in those areas anymore, which is crazy, but yeah, so you may not be able to get one of these because of the area you live in. They just don't allow high top uh, vehicles anymore and they can only be a certain length. So these will not be good for you. Um, but uh, if you have the money and you're not driving a whole lot at one time, you know, you go a certain distance and stop and stay for a little bit, maybe this is good for you. Um, but with the space, I would love to have one of these 
just because of the space. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. We'll move on. Let's see. Okay, so this one is this the last one I have? Yeah. So the last one that I thought of was um, shuttle vans or shuttle buses, and or school buses. So you know, schoolies. Um, so these again have a lot of space. Um, they're meant to be driven around a whole lot. Um, but again, miles per gallon is not very good. You can't park them everywhere because of like the length of them and the width of them and the height of them. Of them. Um, and this, and as far as maintenance, this could go with the uh, commercial vans that I just talked about, the step vans and all, the box vans. Um, maintenance ex expenses because of the size of the vehicle you can't just go into any auto shop and they'll work on it. Sometimes some of them can't because of the lifts don't hold that much weight. Uh, so you have to go to shops that take bigger vehicles. Um, as far as tires, they can be more expensive and some you have dualies, which means you're going to have six tires instead of four tires you got to pay for. Um, so, you know, just the expenses and all of that can be more. And then some of these like schoolies, some of the shuttle vans and even some of the cargo vans and stuff can be diesels and I don't know much about diesels but I know they can go for a long time but the expense expenses as far as repair can be very expensive so you have to think about that too um so yeah those are the types of vans that are out there again if you know of any other vans or what they're called or whatever you can leave that below in the comments um but those are the ones that I came up with that I could think of and that I could find images for um but as far as my choices and what I want to do next, like I said before, I'm trying to like hold off and just go ahead and get in a minivan just to like have something right now. But it like makes sense. Like if I was going to go get a cheap car, why not just go ahead and get a minivan and just so I can do weekend trips if I want, you know? Um, and, uh, yeah, like I told you, I would go for like the Dodge Caravan just because of the shape and the Astro because of the shape. I'm not exactly sure like handling and, and, and how the transmissions and engines are and stuff like that i would have to look into that a bit more but if i were going to go with the minivan those would be my top choices like i said the honda odyssey just because of the name but as far as look and shape i'm not too fond of it um but or for me i mean they're cool and all but just for me um but i would do a minivan for right now now long term though because i want to do this possibly for the rest of my life like be mobile may not always full-time may not be always full-time but I do want to do this, so um, a high top van is definitely necessary, and that is what I'm working towards and saving up for in the long run. If I don't um, go ahead and get a minivan, then that would be the next thing, but it would take a while to get the one that I want. Um, but if not, then I would start off with just a cargo van and then get a high top installed on it. Um, that would be a good idea, or if I could go with the Nissan Envy, because of the fact that the the front of it is uh, longer. So on like Dora and some of the cargo vans and stuff, a lot of them, they have that stub nose front. So if you were to get engine work done, the labor cost is more normally than a regular car or truck or whatever because the, the time and effort it takes to pull that engine out because it's in between the front and the inside of the van so just you know not too many people really want to work on it and it just takes a lot of time and effort and energy and it's heavy and all this stuff so those nissans they have the long front so to get the engine out it just pulls right out like a regular vehicle or whatever obviously you gotta undo stuff but you get what i'm saying it's just easier to work on the engine if you ever need it to so that's what i think about because of the fact that i had my engine trouble with dora um, and, uh, if I didn't go with like a Nissan Envy, the high top or whatever, I would do the Chevy Express with the high top. Like I said, I would just get a cargo van and put a high top on, or if I can find one already with a high top on, that would be optimum. So those would be the ones that I would want right now, as far as what I'm thinking. Um, if I had like money and the income coming in enough to where I felt comfortable getting a, uh, shuttle bus or a schoolie, I would definitely do that because of the space. Um. And I, you know, a class B RV, if I had a chance to get one or whatever, it's already built out. That's cool. I would do that, but they're expensive and the setup is already done and you have to figure out how everything's working in there and what's connected to what and all that stuff. And I'd rather build my own and know what is where and what, how to replace this stuff and have the layout exactly like I want it to be comfortable. Um, but yeah, 
my main wants would be obviously a high top. Uh, I would like good gas mileage, but we're compromising stuff here. Um, so if not good gas mileage, definitely the high top for comfort and space. Um, I would want stealth, but again, when we're going with the high top, to, you know, you can park in commercial areas at that point. Um, but space, like parking in different places, you, you can't fit in certain places because of the height and the length of it. Um, and I would want vehicles with low maintenance, like they're not known to have engine troubles or transmission troubles a lot and stuff like that. Um, and also tow capacity because eventually in the future with this van that I would like to have for a while, a long while, I would want to be able to tow a trailer um, behind it, tow a like camper behind it basically um, to use as a home base and I can take it and have a home base in different places whenever I want to switch home bases. Um, so yeah, that would be like the optimum wants in a van for me but like I said my choices would be as far as minivans Astro or Dodge Caravan um, commercial vans would be like a Nissan Envy or a Chevy Express high top um, yeah as far as right now and what I think I want and what I would like those would be the vans um, leave below what vans you want what van you have and again if you have any other suggestions as far as types of vans or suggestions for me on the type of van that I said I want. Um, maybe if you've heard of bad things about it or good things or whatever it is, let me know. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens as far as what van I get. I'm gonna try to keep saving and we're gonna see what happens. See you on the next video.